What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the MG Cup Series here on NBCSN. We are at the Lowe's Motor Speedway for the second time this season. This track always manages to put on absolute bangers, so I'm hyped up for this one. Let's just, let's not even waste any time. We're going to hop right into this one. Green flag in the air. Your pole sitter, Matt Kenseth, pulls out in front of Jimmy Johnson. And here comes Jeff Gordon trying to follow him through. We're going to try to get through this race as quickly as we can because, as you see, 101 laps. That is quite a long time at Lowe's Motor Speedway. So, uh, yeah. Down the back straight away. When's that first wreck going to happen? We know this track is uh, known for its early wrecks and absolute chaos here. I heard I heard somebody sliding in the back there. No, they keep it straight for a lap. I am surprised we've kept it green for one whole lap here at the Lowe's Motor Speedway. Heading through one and two. Once again, cars getting sideways through the corner. Look at the yaw. There, completely yawed out through the corner. Four wide further back. Billy Bigley is going to get turned hard into the inside wall. Terrible crash. Caution is out. Bigley upside down. The 30 of Stedman Marlin on his roof as well. A terrible wreck here. Oh my goodness. Caution is out. Rookie Billy Bigley. Trying to race as many races as he can this season. Gets absolutely demolished. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness there was a safer barrier down here. Red flag is being displayed. They were four wide down the back straightaway. The 79 is turned across the nose of the 21 of Ken Schrader. Into that opening in the inside. <gasps> Excuse me, inside wall for the safety crews to come out onto the racetrack. And oh man. Back across the track in the traffic. The 30 got up into the catch fence a little bit there. As he turned over and Billy got hit in the rear end so hard he just gets upended and rolls under his roof. And the 30 quickly trying to get back on its wheels. It does not get back on its wheels. It stays on its roof and I believe it's he hits uh, the 19 as he's sliding. Man, that 79 car shot back across the track like a dart. Man, debris everywhere. It was a huge impact, almost like an explosion. And no, the 30 did not impact the 19 again. Thank goodness. Luckily, everybody seems to be okay. Safety crews there working with the drivers, trying to get them out of these cars. They seem to be talking, but... Definitely, uh, as we saw the window nets come down on both cars before the crews got there, so probably a little bit shaken up, both of those drivers. Man, that was a violent wreck. Bring out the first caution of the day. But, uh, yeah, here we go. Green flag back into the air. We're racing once again. Jeff Gordon's your leader. Here comes Tony Stewart to the inside of Kenseth for second. Stewart with a huge run down the back straightaway, full head of steam, and here comes the 31 looking at his inside as well, we're, we're looking at three wide off turn four here, and that never works out, Gordon into the outside wall, Whew, man they're lucky there, they got really lucky, here comes your Coke 600 winner, Casey Kane up into the mix. Kane coming through, here comes the 25 of Vickers coming through, Brian Vickers contact, around goes the two, the two of Kurt Busch and the 07, oh a huge crash on the back straightaway, the 07 of Clint Boyer, Kurt Busch got turned sideways in front of the field, and man, carnage ensues, Big time crash on the back straightaway. What happened here? Four wide once again. Boyer gets up into the outside wall. Kurt Busch trying to squeeze by down low. He's on the top of three wide and just runs out of space there. And then here comes the rest of the field piling in. Nowhere to go. Oh man, look at Boyer just getting knocked around back there. The seven of Robbie Gordon. Oh man, look at Sterling Marlin. He got up onto somebody's hood as well there. I believe that was the 40, his old car. Got on the hood of David Strimmy there. Man. Wow, some big time hits in this wreck. We're gonna.
Let's see, Edwards thought he made it through. Did make it through without too much contact, but definitely, uh, the hole definitely closed up there. So we'll watch from Mark Martin's on board as well here. He sees nothing but smoke. He's trying to go low, go low, 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 and then there goes Clint Boyer. Nothing he can do. Nowhere he can go. But into the back of that 07 car. Man, look at the 7. Wow, Robbie Gordon is getting lifted up on top of somebody's hood there. Watching the 16 to Biffle as well. Trying to get low, get low, and just nowhere to go. Nothing he can do. Robbie Gordon got into the back of him as well, it seems. And then, oh, big hits there. As more cars came in, they just couldn't avoid it. Ran out of places to go. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide from that wreck. So we'll watch it one more time from an exterior view here. Kyle Petty, Reed Sorensen, a lot of cars taken out now. All right, caution is out once again. That means we're gonna have another restart here. Here we go. Green flag back in the air. Wow, Brian Vickers is your leader right now. What in the world? Where did Vickers come from? Former Indianapolis winner. Brickyard 400 winner, Indianapolis. Oh, con oh, wow. Casey Kane, your points leader. A great save there. Kevin Harvey got into the back of him there. Turned him a little bit sideways. Kane was able to save it. These cars are really getting yawned out through these corners, though. Man, Kane up into the outside wall. Is he going to save this one? Yes, he does. Trying his hardest not to wreck that car. As Kevin Harvick's trying his hardest to wreck that car, it seems. Those are championship rivals here. And car in the wall. 31 to Jeff Burton. Keeps it going here, no issue. Three wide once again. Here comes Stewart, here comes Kane up high. Kane trying to roll that top. He's gonna back out of it here. Knew that one gonna work. He saw Stewart getting tight. And man, it's a good thing he backed out of it. Caution is out. We got a wreck further back. And it's the 18 and the 88 of Dale Jarrett. Two cars that are completely destroyed. And man, what's up with drivers? Um, getting into wrecks with cars they used to, dri used to drive. Jared, before the MG Cup Series was a thing, drove the 18 in the NASCAR Cup Series. Oh, man. Wow. Wow! Oh, my gosh. Just gets drilled in the door by Reed Sorens in there. Man. Gets clipped by the 18 as well. That is a hard, hard impact. Very scary wreck. Reminiscent to the wreck we saw that ended the career of Buckshot Jones. And, man... Oh, wow, that is a really big impact. Completely destroyed the front end of Reed Sorensen's car. I've never seen a car get that torn up before. Jarrett got upside down. It's the third car to get upside down today, but um, luckily everyone's all right. Green flag back in the air. Oh, boy. Things starting to shake up once again here on this restart. How long will we last this time? I apologize, by the way, if you're hearing some loud noise in the background. Uh, just like these last couple of videos I've been recording, uh, it's Christmas time. They're trying to get in the Christmas spirit downstairs. I'm trying to grind these videos out, get them out to you as quickly as I possibly can, so I can get 20, 2007 going as quickly as we can. And we got a wreck on the front straightaway once again. Big crash for... Jeff Green, Kurt Busch, and more. We got more piling in. That's uh, Bobby, or, ugh, Michael Waltrip in the 55. This one. We're only 20 laps in. This is going to be a never-ending race, isn't it? Green flag back in the air once again. But that's what I was saying. Yeah, sorry if you hear noise. That's the speaker downstairs. It is literally vibrating my chair as we speak. But, uh, yeah, just trying to get in the Christmas spirit here. December 24th. In 10 minutes, it will be Christmas. I have recorded uh, a couple of videos in this past hour, so you probably heard it in those as well. Oh, man, that is not going to work. Round goes Truex. Into the outside wall hard. Back across the field. Oh, man, Casey Kane. Casey Kane, your points leader is involved in this one. And more cars getting taken out here. 
track completely blocked there and Kane just had nowhere to go as Martin Truex Jr. got turned sideways and man oh well, off the ride he went and of course Harvick had something to do with that incident I'm not saying he did it on purpose it's just kind of ironic man into the wall and that one car just kept sliding down the racetrack it's hit hard by the 99 of Carl Edwards and that sends him further down the track it's hit by the 29 or excuse me the 26 and the 9 and that's gonna probably end Casey Kane's night here as uh, that front end is completely destroyed Got a lot of modifies out on the track here tonight green flag back in the air we're racing once again and Biffle off the pace that's gonna stack everybody up this might not end well this definitely won't end well. Look at how many cars are bunched into this, crammed into this tiny spot right here. They are bunching them up, splitting Biffle here. And now Biffle, can he just go high and get out of the way here? Yeah, that's what he's doing. About gets up into the outside wall, trying to get out the way here. And the caution is already out. Once again, oh my goodness, another one upside down. It's David Starr on his roof. What happened here? Gets sent around off the bumper of Nemechek and boom! Gets hit in just the right way to pop that car up on its roof. But I tell you what, we had a lot of wild wrecks here today. That's gonna end Carl Edwards' night. Three wide for the lead, wow! Ends it backed out of that. He's not taking any chances here tonight. And uh, Kevin Harvick, here comes Harvick to the front, looking to gain some ground on his championship rival, Casey Kane. He's had a few rough weeks, especially last race at uh, Richmond. Where is he had the fastest car, but then his car started having some mechanical issues there, and that's what took him out of the race. Will we stay green this time? Probably not long. Looking at this situation right here. There goes Kyle Bush into the outside wall. He's gonna keep it straight. I thought Ian Slager would get into the back of him there. Looks like Slager backed off. He knew that wasn't gonna end well. We're gonna jump through here, see when the next caution is. Actually it's starting to spread out a bit. We might not get another caution. But uh Halfway and uh, past halfway, pit stops there and starting to close in. Mike Bliss was leading, but uh, here comes Jeff Gordon to the front, and now here comes Kevin Harvick closing in on both of them there. Harvick get there. Oh, but look, new leader. Battle for the lead between Matt Kenseth and Jeff Gordon. With 10 laps, or coming to 10 laps to go here. There we go. There's 10 to go. Side by side for the lead. Kenseth, Gordon. Back and forth. We always seem to have good battles. Is that the caution? We're going to find out in just a second here. I'm going to watch, look through and see. Oh, yeah, there it was. There it is, the 42 with Casey Mears blowing up here, late in the going, bringing out a late race yellow flag. And that is huge, because Matt Kenseth was starting to run away with this race. Probably could have won had the caution not come out. Now we're going to have a double file restart. We're going to bunch them up, rack them up, stack them up, and try it again double file here from Lowe's Motor Speedway pace car is in here we go again oh boy things are about to get wild here with just four laps to go on the restart green flag back in the air kids it down low Jeff Gordon up high and look at that right behind them it's the five of Kyle Busch Busch where's he gonna go he's gonna peek low he's trying to get to the inside he does get to the inside of Matt Kenseth he's got Dale Jr. right behind him as well 
Junior, where is he going to go? He tried to peek out. He's thinking about making a move down the back straight away. Not quite there yet. He's going to try it in three and four. Look at Scott Riggs. Oh my goodness. In the middle of three wide. Riggs with a run. Keeps it off the wall, but has to check up for Jeff Gordon. Man, Riggs has come very close to winning a few of these races, but still has not won yet in the MG Cup Series. Here he comes. Looks like four fresh tires on that number 10 machine. He is rocketing his way up to the front here. He is rolling through. Didn't have enough momentum to make that three wide work. But Matt Kins is running away with it here. Two laps to go. This time by at the line. Here comes Scott Riggs. Here comes the 43 of Bobby Labonte. Bringing the 24 and the 29 with them. Kevin Harvick and Jeff Gordon trying to get through. Briggs goes high. Here comes Labonte to his inside. Side by side between the two Dodges and the Chevys right behind him. As Jeff Burton is back there as well. Meanwhile, it's all Matt Kenseth out in front. Battle for second, though. Here comes the 48 of Jimmy Johnson. White flag one more time around for Matt Kenseth here. Kenseth and Johnson or excuse me, Junior and Johnson fighting for the lead off a of turn two for the final time. Down the back straight away for the final time. Here we go, and it turns three and four. It's all Johnson, and on the bottom, he's going to clear him. Coming to the stripe, we nearly had a wreck behind, but it's going to be Matt Kenseth taking the check flag, and Dale Jr. and uh, Jeff Gordon got together. They about wrecked there coming to the checkers. That's going to do it. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe. Hope to see y'all next time. Until then, peace.